Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how parking brake systems work, or also known as the emergency brake. Uh, basically what you got is uh, here you have your lever that uh, you pull that's usually down in between by the seat, or in some other vehicles it's down by the uh, brake and gas pedal. But basically what's going on when you uh, pull the lever, you are mechanically pulling a cable that goes towards the back of the vehicle. And it connects to this little part here called the equalizer. And that equalizer is what connects to two other parking brake cables that go off to each brake. And uh, as stated here, the equalizer it, uh, equalizes the pressure evenly to both brakes. And that's to, uh, like it says, evenly apply it so you don't get more force on one brake than another. And these at the end will have screws on it so you can actually adjust those. So you always want to make sure those are adjusted evenly because... Uh, you don't want uneven pressure going to each brake. But that's basically how it works. You pull a cable that uh, connects to your lever and it separates it into two separate cables that goes to each brake and mechanically engages those brakes. Now at the brake pedal or at the uh, brake assembly itself you have a couple of different types. Uh, these are on uh, drum brakes and uh, if you're not sure how drum brakes work I'd recommend watching my drum brake video. And uh, basically what it's doing, when you, pull the, when you pull on the cable and it engages the cable here, that cable will come in here and it connects to the brake shoe down here. Now, if you've ever seen a, a brake shoe part, it looks like a, a U-shaped and then there's always that little other piece that's kind of dangling right there. That's what this part is. So when you pull on the cable, this little part here will move this way. And as it moves this way, as it pivots up here, the little top part will go back that way. As it's going back that way, that's engaging this side of the brake shoe. So again, that'll pivot like this and push this brake shoe out into the drum. Whereas as it pivots down here, it's pushing this way. And that's pushing this little called parking strut, parking brake strut across. And then that engages the, as that goes across, that engages the brake shoe over there to this side. So again, that's just pivoting, engages the brake on that side, and transfers that energy this way into uh, this side. Then uh, on uh, disc brake systems, uh, that's usually on floating or sliding calipers, you have uh, this kind here. Uh, there's different types of these, uh, different manufacturers use different ways, but basically what it is is here you have your whole uh, caliper, and this is your brake pad, and this is your piston here. Basically what you're doing when you pull the brake cable there, this lever will move up and as it moves up inside it will basically engage this little part, these little piston, and this piston as you're pulling on it will push into here and mechanically engage that piston. Then when you let go, the springs here, right here pushes that back out. Like I said, that's usually on floating sliding calipers. Uh, if you have a, uh, a fixed caliper, a lot of times what they have is you basically have the rotor here. That's what this is. This is a drum or this is a, a drum rotor where you outside you have the rotor itself. And then on the inside that's part of the rotor. It's almost like putting a drum over a rotor. So you have your flat rotor like this and on top of it here where the wheel hub goes onto it. Uh, inside of there it just works the same as a parking brake system on a uh, on a drum brake system so this is part right here is built inside to those and it works the same way it's just basically engaging them inside the rotors while the caliper on top of the rotors does that hydraulically through the regular brakes and uh, that's basically it how parking brakes work thanks for watching and please subscribe